Now we have a place for the newbies and we want to have a role for them as well. Let's click on the Dragonheim text on the top to open a drop down menu and choose server settings. Second from the top you find roles. It's a bit small but press the little plus button next to the word roles and it will automatically create a new role. We can't edit much of the everyone role because this is always the generic role where people join with. Now this new role inherits the standard settings of everyone. That means it copies all the same permissions as the role has below it. And this is just fine. New members can read messages, change their own nickname and some other things. If you don't want them to create invites themselves, deactivate at least that settings and save changes. Don't forget to also go to the everyone role and disable create invite. But you can easily track who invited who through the invites menu. We'll get into that as well later. Give the role a nice color that stands out. And a cool feature is you can choose to display role members separately from online members. This will show them all in their own category. Of course, don't forget to give your real new role a name. Save changes and close the window. Now when clicking on your own name, you'll see a new option called roles. This way you can assign yourself the role hatchling and you will be moved to hatchling as this is the only role and the highest role available. Your highest role will always be the one displayed unless you choose not to display that specific role of course. Now we want a place where council members can meet without lowly hatchlings peeking in. This is a good practice to make a new role again. Go to settings, go to roles, create a new role and when it comes below hatchlings, hold your left mouse button while hovering over the new role and drag it on top of hatchlings. Then release the mouse button. Let's call our council guardian dragons. And let's do the same as we did earlier of course, but we want a different color. So let's make them purple and also s separate this role from the rest. Save changes. Don't forget that the guardian dragons of course can create invites, so enable that for them. When it comes to guardians, people often have questions for them, so we will allow others to mention this role. And mentioning someone is always done with the add symbol. You can now mention guardian dragons, and when you press enter you will see an orange background below the text. That will mean that I will be alerted when somebody uses this command, because I am a guardian dragon. If I wouldn't be a guardian dragon and I would use guardian dragon, there will be no alert and it will be just normal text. Before we go, let's make three more roles. And the first one we will call elder dragon. And this will be our administrator. They cannot be mentioned and they will also not be displayed, but they will be above guardian dragon. Name the other roles Dragon and Young Dragon. By now you know how to display them separately and give them any color you like. I like to try to keep the sequence of the colors so it really seems to build up in color. When it comes to administrator, don't ever give the role to someone you do not fully trust because this permission will give full power over your Discord to that person. Let's save the changes and close for now. 